So last week, the United States got a little taste of what exotic pet owners are forced to deal with on a regular basis. Unfair or even baseless laws that target our pets and put them at risk of being confiscated or even killed by authorities. Of course, as you all know probably by now, 35 snakes were killed by the Florida Wildlife Commission because they decided to pass a law making formerly legal animals illegal and they gave one snake breeder an unreasonable amount of time to quote liquidate over a hundred animals. Backed into a corner, he tried to comply with their demands but was left with 33 snakes that he was pretty much coerced into allowing the FWC to kill. And as a special bonus, the agents accidentally killed his legal pregnant pet boa in the process. So while the owner was not granted an exemption to keep his snakes, despite him having obtained them legally and doing his best to abide by the rules they changed. In other news, a Louisiana couple was permitted to keep their illegally obtained pet nutria because the community rallied behind them and the authorities just said, eh, who cares about the rules, and just gave them a special permit that is presumably not available to anyone else in the state. Both nutria and the snake species that were killed were made to be illegal because of fears that they might become invasive. And that is something understandable that lawmakers would be concerned about, considering the problems Florida is having. However, cats are a very prolific invasive species with invasive populations in pretty much every state as well as throughout the world, while Burmese pythons are restricted to being an issue in only small parts of Florida. Some may use the argument, well, cats are already well established, so there's no point in banning them. Yet, banning green iguanas, tegus, and Burmese pythons certainly isn't going to eliminate their established populations. Meanwhile, not only are cats not banned, but allowing them to roam freely, unneutered, isn't illegal in any state that I'm aware of. Why is this the case? Because people really like cats, and here in this country, the number of people that like keeping an animal as a pet determines whether or not it becomes okay to keep them. Exotic pet owners, despite being a far less potential threat to the environment, have to face complete bans of the species we want to keep because they are less popular popular than dogs and cats, period. There is no other reason. In other news, take this pet bobcat. It is a beloved pet that is tame and toilet trained. He was seized by local authorities in February of 2023. The owners legally purchased the cat in Arkansas, but sadly, they made the poor decision to transport him to their new home in Kentucky, where bobcats are illegal. And when they did, the worst fear of any exotic pet owner happened. Some addictive person reported the animal, and now he faces euthanasia if a home cannot be found for him at the time I'm making this video. He remains in the custody of the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. Do bobcats make the best pets? Maybe not, but here's a crazy idea. So what? If someone wants to keep an animal that is more destructive than another cat species happens to be, that's their business. There's no real issue with bobcats when it comes to invasive species threats because they are native. Ironically, bobcats are more likely to be illegal than exotic cat species. According to the department's chief communications officer, the bobcat, named Bane, is one of more than 50 illegal pets seized by Kentucky Fish and Wildlife officers since January 1st, 2021. The species involved included deer, raccoons, alligators, foxes, primates, opossums, squirrels, mallard ducks, skunks, and mink. That's right, you can't even own a certain duck. This is the reality of exotic pet owners across the nation, and Nudie the Nutria's owners absolutely took for granted that they came out on the good side of this. The state of Kentucky wildlife veterinarian Dr. Christine Casey claims so-called wildlife, which domesticated bobcats aren't, suffer mental stress when kept as a pet. Yet does she really believe that this pet bobcat is better off abducted from the caretakers it knows and has bonded with? That is what is causing stress. And of course, she erroneously believes that they are not domesticated. A relative of the family has applied for a permit to keep the bobcat in Florida. However, it may not be approved in time. Although, of course, now that the story has hit the media, one wildlife sanctuary did step up to say they would accept the cat if a home could not be found. However, exotic pets like the snakes destroyed in Florida are killed all the time, whether or not
not they get media attention is another story. A resolution to this is to just stop passing needless, arbitrarily enforced bans that are blatant double standards.